Hi again. It's 2023 and it's time for a new watering system. If you guys remember the old system I had set up at the old house, it's something I put together to help water the plants when we weren't around as much. And when I started trying Floraflex, because of the cocoa, it requires a lot more watering and I wasn't always there to do that. Some of the drawbacks of the old setup, it was drained to waste, so all that water would have to be dumped out or collected. Uh, and if it got away from me, it would overflow in the tent and then I'd have to clean it up. And that definitely happened a few times. So after we moved, kind of continuing with that setup, definitely wanted some kind of auto watering thing to continue to run the Floraflex. You could definitely use this if you have an organic setup. You don't necessarily have to put nutrients in the water. You could just have a thing of water and set this up to just water your plants daily or however you prefer. But for me with the Floraflex, it works really great because I like to mix up a week's worth of feed in the tank and then just let it go and not have to worry about overflowing or anything like that. So as you guys will see this new setup, we've got some new bubbler manifolds from the Bucket Company. We're using the Pulse Hub to help monitor stats in the tent like EC and pH and all those good factors and the moisture content in the cocoa and the EC in the cocoa is something awesome that the Pulse Hub lets us monitor. Plus this new system is a recirculating system so the runoff water actually gets pumped back into the feeding tank. So that gets more mileage on the feed so we're using less feed and we're using less water because everything is being recycled. So sit back guys, I think you're gonna enjoy this video of the new watering setup and definitely stay tuned for new seed harvest videos. They're gonna be covering these grows using this system so you can see how it works. We've been running the Floraflex, loving it. And uh, part of that is just an auto watering system to keep the plants watered, especially in cocoa because it dries out faster. Uh, it just makes the whole thing really easy to follow, especially when you can just mix up a whole bunch of uh, feed for a week. And what we're doing is using uh, just a trash can as a reservoir. Um, and we made some changes. So I did get some other pumps, guys. I picked this one up, just way too powerful. And because right now we only have two plants running on a flex at a time, we needed something a little bit better. So AC has these new submersible pumps. This one is the um, 36 watt AC WPA7. Uh, this one has a 10 foot lift. So it should be powerful enough, I think, to push two plants, two waterings. Should be more than enough. Um, and it does have the right size fitting. And we also switched over to the Bucket Company bubbler manifold. So these ones are great. They have two styles of hosing that you can hook up. So it does come with block off so you can block the other side you're not using. And it has adjustable things for how the water comes out. So like it's little, little sprays all around or there's these mister um, tips. So these rings seem much better. And the other company, if you guys remember the other watering video, I've gotten a lot of questions. Um, the previous drip rings we had used are no longer manufactured by that company. Um, so these are the, the alternative and honestly, these are, are way better and it has a large footprint, easy to get on and off the plant if you need, um, even when the plant gets larger. So loving this setup from the bucket company. And then to control these, uh, I was using a smart plug in my previous setup, but now AC has these new um, controller 79s and this allows you to control two outlets through controller here. So you can run this off various things, but I just thought it would be really easy to connect to my system, set up the watering schedule and have it just keep running the pumps as necessary based on that. Just uh, as an alternative to the smart plug I had wasn't really, the app wasn't that great. I know the AC Infinity app's good and um, this will be easy with a two plug setup here. You could run multiple pumps or you can have a pump and a mixing pump, which is nice for the floor flex if you have another one in there. So it will agitate, mix the water. I think it'll work really good. So that's kind of be the setup I have. You can see two of the manifolds already set up here. These are what's gonna be feeding the plants. I do have each kind of style drip tip on there so you guys can kind of see how those are. I also like to put these valves in line so that way you can shut off flow to one if you need. Um, it also helps with keeping um, dripping and stuff if you're taking the plants out and you're pulling the ring off just to prevent any kind of water from flowing out of there. So what we're gonna do is hook this pump up and uh, just do a test run, make sure it fires up, make sure it can push water through these good and run a two plant setup because this other one was just way way too powerful uh it was like overflowing the the plant pots so i think this new pump and setup will work good uh, we are going on vacation so we need to get this thing set up and uh dialed in but let's go ahead and get her hooked up and test it out and see if we can get some water flowing through these new pumps also have adjustable um, flow rate which is kind of nice i do like the suction cup sides that way i'll be able to mount it face down so it'll be able to 
sucked down to the minimum level in the tank there. But I think this is uh, this is gonna be a pretty decent pump. So we'll hook it up, see, uh, see what kind of flow she gets. So we got the pump set up. <clears throat> uh, the new AC pump is in there. And we got the controller 79 set up, hooked up to our drip rings, both valves open. Um, I'm doing this as a test to set and make sure that this pump has enough power to push through these rings. So that's one thing you'll notice when you're buying um, submersible pumps is the lift power. This one has a 10 foot lift. So I think this should be enough to push out to these two rings. We're definitely not going over 10 feet in height. So it should definitely be enough to push, push these two rings. So what I like to do with these ones is I actually set up the cycle. Basically that tells it every X amount of hours run for this amount of time. So you can set it up to run like every six hours, water for a minute or whatever works out good for you. We've been using uh, the Pulse Hub is something new that we're gonna really try and dial in this grill. Watch the moisture in the pot and kind of learn about drybacks and when I should water based on the, how fast they're drying. So I, right now I just wanna make sure that it's gonna turn on. So I'm just gonna switch it to on. Hear the pump kick on. The pump is actually super quiet. You can not even hear it running. And it looks like it definitely has the power um, to push these babies. So this is more of the um, kind of spray water head. It's kicking some air bubbles out through there. This is more of the kind of uh, spray water head. You can see it kind of trickles out more kind of like a sprinkler maybe. These both work pretty dope. I guess we're gonna see which one gives a better water coverage in the pot, uh, but already can tell that this is this is gonna work perfectly. It's not too overpowered uh, for the pump that we're using, so it should be great for what we're doing. So that's working great. Really happy with this AC pump setup. Looks like it's gonna work, work bomb. Also gonna be running this Bucket Company recirculator, guys. This is kind of nice um, because what we've been doing with the recirculating, refeeding method um, is basically the runoff from the pots here. So it waters, these are through the um, Floriflex pots and the drain bases. Uh, the water goes through those drip rings down here into here. Uh, once the level gets high enough, this pump kicks on and pumps the runoff back into the feeding tank. So it's a recirculating system. Um, and it's been working well. I think we just had to get the pumps dialed a little better. Um, but this uh, one with the cocoa, it works works really good. So I'm excited to get this all set up. Um, it's gonna be much easier watering, mix up, like I said, like a week's worth of Floriflex in the tank uh, and then just let it go. And then with the Pulse Hub, guys, it has its own probe. So it has an EC and a pH meter um, that we can put in that tank. So that way we can constantly monitor um, in real time, the EC and pH of the tank to see if it's going up um, or down and we can keep the whole tank dialed. And it also comes with one of these um, meters that you stick in the cocoa. So this will measure the um, water content of the cocoa and the moisture saturation levels and um, the EC of the cocoa. So I can see what's going on with the EC in the actual substrate or the medium of the plant. So with all this together, we'll be able to really get an accurate picture of what's going on with the plants um, and a really great watering system that's gonna refeed uh, and just keep them watered with less daily maintenance. So I'm gonna get this all kind of set up into the tent and then it should be good to go. Another thing I'm gonna be trying with this guys, um, Floriflex is a matrix system. So these will actually fit directly on top of the Floriflex pots. So this fits right on top, creates a tray for the water to fill, and then it's got the feeding hole so it will water evenly over the whole top of the pot. Um, so those drip rings will fill all this area. This will drip down into the uh, medium. Um, you also have these little fabric things I haven't tried, but you put this actually underneath um, so this sits on top of the cocoa in your pot. This goes on top. This just helps keep that moisture um, in the pot so it can, can keep drying. So pretty pumped to uh, try this. We're gonna set this up with one of these trays, see how they go for this run. Um, and then everything just flows through the bottom uh, and the runoff gets fed back into the tank to refeed. So this is gonna be part of the setup or something at least we're gonna try versus just the straight rings into the cocoa. So I kinda wanted to see how these worked. Um, and if it just gave a more even watering over the uh, whole three gallon pot, we're using the, the three gallon pots here from Floriflex, but I think it'll be pretty slick. As you can see, this just goes right over top of the um, cocoa down at the base of the plant. And then that ring piece is gonna go on top of it. 
and then this will hold the moisture, help keep the top of the cocoa um, moist and from drying out. Got the new controller linked up to the app here so I can turn the pumps on individually. So I have one pump that's gonna be for circulation um, and mixing and one pump that's gonna be the actual feeding. So usually what I'll do is I'll have the mixer pump turn on um, before it does the feed. So I'm gonna make sure the tank is nice and agitated um, and, and the, any feed is mixed in, but Floraflex is pretty good at just completely dissolving in there. So it does help dissolve it. Um, and it works really well when you're adding it or mixing up your tank turn your mix pump on that will just keep it churning um, as you're mixing the stuff in. Well, as you guys can see, the mix pump is, is doing its job down there mixing. So I got my uh, mark set for five gallon and 10 gallon. Um, so all I'm gonna do is mix in the flex uh, with the proper amount that I need. I'm following the new feed chart. So uh, 3.5 grams V1 per gallon um, and then 2.5 of V2 uh, per gallon. So I'm gonna mix that up five gallons worth so we're just gonna mix up V1 first, add it to the thing, V2 goes in second, and it'll be pretty easy. So I'm just gonna mix up some V1, dump it in. Usually I'll take my V1 and kind of pre-mix it in here just to help dissolve it before I dump it into the tank. And then the mix pump will churn it around and help get it dissolved. Our V2. this so now that that's in there mixing and churning all i got to do is fill the water up the rest of the way um and then uh just make sure the ec and the ph is on and this is the dope part of using the pulse hub guys because there's sensors in the tank we can see the tank ph live is 6.54 and the ec is 2.3 so this will monitor this and let me know. I don't have the sensor in there yet, but when it is in the cocoa, it tells you the water content and the EC of the cocoa. Uh, and then we can see our EC of the tank and the pH. So it really helps keep things dialed at a glance. We can just look at this and see where the EC is at. So super dope, um, love the Pulse Hub. Definitely excited to be testing it out more um, and, and get this thing dialed in. So as you can see, we're adding water. The EC goes down, the pH goes up because our tap's higher, so I gotta get that EC dialed and we should be good for feeding for, for weeks. As we can see, the pH is a little higher. Floraflex recommends uh, 5.5 to 6 for cocoa. I usually put in at 5.5, so if there's any drift, it usually tends to be up. Um, so I put some pH down in. That's another great um, setup with this whole, whole setup is that um, we can add the pH and because we have the mix pump going, um, it's just gonna mix in the pH down. So we just gotta you know, add some, give it a minute to mix, check the pH uh, until we get it dialed in. So now with this all set up, you guys can kind of see how these rings are gonna fill up the tray and then evenly water all over. Let's go ahead and fire it up, see what we get. So there we go guys, that's the new watering setup and it works awesome. We've already ran a few grows through it and now with the new pump and even better setup, we're starting our next set of autos with the Floraflex in the auto watering system. Something like this can work for you even if you're running organics or just looking for a way to automatically water your plants on a set schedule and make things a little easier on yourself. Even if you're not using any kind of nutrients and you just want some watering, uh, this is going to be a great setup for you. So definitely, if you guys are interested, check out the links down below. I'll have everything in there that was used to make this system. Definitely check it out if you guys are interested. We have some discount codes to save you some dollars. Definitely helps out the channel and saves you some money. So we really appreciate it, guys. Make sure to give us a follow on Instagram at hi again and check out our Patreon for weekly live streams with the fam as we grow these plants out. Let you guys vote on what you're growing do fun giveaways and so much more. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.